this video today we're going to feature the model 43 AP pneumatic indicating controller uh, this training exercise will focus in on the pointer alignment and the calibration procedure the equipment required to complete this training will be an air supply with a pressure regulator pressure gauge small Phillips head screwdriver um, a nut driver, perhaps eighth inch, something to make a right angle with, um, like a business card, credit card, something like that. And all of this information can be referenced back to the manual's MI 11 482 or the 14 715. At this point, we're going to focus in on the 43 AP. All right, looking at the 43 AP. It's time to determine the pressure range on the element that you're working with today. In my case, I'm working with a receiver bellows, and that range is 3 to 15 PSI. With that information known, I can now go over to my test gauge and input 9 PSI. That's 50% of my 3 to 15. Once that's been established, you can go back to your element and determine a right angle. <clears throat> that right angle will be on this side of the link and this side of your uh, linkage. If you don't have a right angle here, here and here, you can uh, adjust or loosen. There's a nut in the, on that linkage just sitting on the arbor just loosen that slightly so you get um, a little bit of movement on this uh, linkage and link to establish a right angle with some friction of course that way it's not flopping all over the place once you've established a right angle there go down to the driven level and that's at the bottom where your pointer attaches we want to establish a right angle on the link here and where it attaches to the pointer here here and here if you don't have a right angle there adjust the linkage on your spring right there here increase it or decrease it to establish a right angle on your driven lever Okay. The one at the top is your drive lever. If you happen to loosen a nut in the back on that arbor or two Phillips head screws on your element, now's a good time to tighten those up so you lock everything in place. At this point, the alignment for the 43AP has been established. All right, setting up the uh, pointer of calibration, we will now put 3 PSI on our test gauge and check the, uh, the pointer at zero. Okay, I have 3 PSI on my test gauge and the pointer is reading zero. If it is not reading zero, you want to make that adjustment down on your driven lever and adjust that thumb screw here. Once your pointer is reading zero, You want to dial in 15 PSI, which is going to be your 100% output. Check that on your scale. If that is not reading 100 at 15, then you need to make that adjustment on your driver lever, and that would be on your element. Your adjustment will be uh, two times the error. 
if it's not reading zero in the direction of error. If an adjustment is required, you need to go back and check your three PSI at zero, readjust your zero, bring it back up to 15 PSI, readjust your 100% if necessary. Once those points have been uh, brought in, you're going to dial in 9 PSI. And your pointer should be reading 50%. If your pointer is not at 50%, you're going to make that adjustment on your linkage. Once again, you're going to make that adjustment in the direction of error by five times the error. Repeat steps one, two, and three until all points are on 0, 50, and 100%. That completes our uh, pointer calibration procedure.